Hey, good morning from wherever you're watching in the world. My name is Aaron or Az, and this is an episode of getting back to basics. We're out here doing it, baby! Woo! We've got our own private swimming pool. We really wouldn't want to slip, would you? Oh! Hey, first hour of the trip. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. Barramundi for four. Woo! At this point in time, we've been waiting for four hours for this tide to come in over a big long mud flat. We've got extremely big tides and with that really big highs and really low lows, 12 and a half meters. As you can see, the boats are high and dry. We camped up last night with uh, two meters of beach between us and the water, which is full of um, prehistoric crocodiles, very large saltwater crocodiles, but we're all safe and sound this morning. And the objective today is to, to get to a, a safe camp further north. We need to get fresh water in the next couple of days and we're also running pretty low on food rations. We have sufficient amounts of curry paste, um, rice, oil, flour, and one small bag of potatoes. So need to get some protein at some stage. Um, if you're just tuning into this now, this is part of a larger series. We're about a weekend and having a great time. Remote northwest part of Australia. Very remote, very harsh, very beautiful, and we're absolutely loving it. We're gonna take you along for the ride. Let's do it. All right, so there's enough water for Pindan. Jack and Eva have just got the boat in, and we're probably about 30 minutes off before we're off the shell grit. But overall, it was a good camp. Really good camp. Boats loaded up to travel a few more nautical miles out the other way. We're almost there. Almost there. Oh. Yeah. yeah, skipper. Might have to hang up the stethoscope. We've come around this point, traveled about 25 miles or so, and there's this beautiful beach in front of us here, but it's, we're not gonna have access to it for, for much longer because it's a 12 meter tide uh, and there's bugger all shade. So we're gonna keep moving um, further to see if we can find a, a better option. The current is also absolutely ripping, so it makes fishing around any of these points um, quite difficult, but Pindan's over there behind that rocky formation and we're gonna keep heading north. Let's do it. <laughs> literally snaked up this river for close to 45 minutes maybe is what 15 miles 18 miles and we've come to this little beach there's doesn't give us much room to to make a camp but looks like um this could be home for the next couple of days this is the spot So before we came on this trip, we were given three pieces of advice. One, watch out for extreme tides in an uncharted area, which this is. So be very careful when you're traveling. Two, saltwater crocodiles, because they're absolutely everywhere, even when you least expect them. And three, dehydration. And it's probably like the most crucial factor because it can sneak up on you if you're not drinking enough water. And there's not fresh water everywhere, only in a few different spots. And you drink far more water than you think you need. So we've stocked up on camelback gear. I just thought I'd share that with you because the mob do an exceptional job. And I think on a couple of their products, their like motto for it or their like little slogan is hydrate or die, which is like blunt to the point frank and extremely true. So yeah, I've been getting around their gear since I was really young and I've dropped this thing off cliffs and it uh, literally doesn't leave me. I'm drinking about six of these a day. Speaking of which, we need to find some fresh water. Let's keep moving. What snakes in this country? Yeah, it is very snaky. Just walked up the back of camp, probably a hundred meters, and it's this like a mini, almost a mini rainforest that like is is growing around this stream that's coming out of the back of this mountain. 
there's paper barks there's all sorts of like lush greenery and most importantly fresh water we've got fresh water at camp this is amazing you reckon this will do pretty good pretty safe We've got our own, our own private swimming pool and it's crystal clean so you can see that there's no crocodiles in there. There's no crocodiles in there? <laughs> check, 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 check. No, no crocodiles. And then you can just keep cascading up into different pools. Pretty good. Wow. Wow, this is... This is really special. You don't find too many places like this. Oh, oh wow. So good. So nice. After being in the sun all day. And every day. Burning your feet. <laughs> sun and salt all day, every day. Now we got shade and fresh water and waterfall. All day. Every day. All right, we've just had a quick scope of the camp and although there's not that much beach, which isn't great for a 12 meter tide at night with I'm presuming some big crocs in the area. Um, outside of that, the camp's pretty much perfect. Had a quick sus, quick spritz at the, the freshwater stream just out the back there. And we're gonna grab the lures and go for a walk as that tide has just started dropping. It is the wrong side of lunchtime and we're hungry. So hopefully we can snag ourselves a fish right here like the first corner and it just keeps snaking its way up for miles. So see if we can have any luck. And this is how we've decided to the anchor the boats for now and then rearrange them after all this water rushes out and we can get a good lay of the land and just see what the, the structure's like on the bottom because um, you don't want to be putting it on rocks where it's just going to be side up getting crunched so suboptimal but that'll be safe <laughs> anything going miss mug crab no here's as of yet but it looks good looks good Good. Strong cast. Oh, <laughs> what do we got? Little catfish, mate. You were very ambitious. That is a small mouth for a big lure. We'll get you back in the water. Oh, mate. I'm <laughs> rock climbing with fishing rod. Oh, jeez. Well, it's like perfectly made to, to climb up. Yeah. Where was that croc you saw before? Jack and Eva just saw a small croc not long ago, which is pretty cool. You, you really wouldn't want to slip, would you? Oh! 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 Literally just. First the, cast. Oh, there's another one chasing it. Oh, get your lure in, Nick. Get, so get your lure in. Lure. Have a flick up in there. I literally just threw right up where the fresh water's running in. And this barren nailed it as soon as it hit the water. Oh, it's a nice fish, man. Dinner. First cast. Woo. I'm just playing him really easy. Just hooked in the gill. No, oh, oh, oh. Yeah! yeah. <gasps> First power of the trip! So delicious. Oh wow! Nailed it. First Kimberly Barra. Good fish mate, well done. Not a massive one, but we don't want a massive one to eat. This is sort of the perfect size for four of us. Oh mate, I'm so happy about that. Very stoked. Who's next? Is it you, Miss Mud Crab? Oh! Woo! 
Jazz is on. Oh, that's a big one. Woo! Beauty. 50 cars in the same spot. And finally, finally got one. All right, you want to drag it like up into this on by the leader. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Nice, Oz. That's a ripper. We've already got one for lunch, so this one's going back in the water for a bit of good karma. Good barra karma. Thanks, mate. Well, it's not the best anchoring I've ever done, but at least we're on sand. This guy's gonna be straight on the coals, I think. There is a fair bit of hunger getting around the camp just quietly. We didn't get a fish yesterday, <laughs> so this will definitely be well appreciated by the team. It's always this dilemma every day where you need to stop and eat your catch, but you wanna keep exploring and, and fishing and poking around every nook and cranny and corner fish all these new unexplored little little holes and groves but yeah very shortly we'll we'll get that barra on the hot coals but one cast just one more cast eh jack one more before bed famous last words don't get caught in a snag what is it i think it's a jack oh no way it's a little trevally uh, is it? it felt heavy but it was just in a stick or tree Little huh. Right where the fresh water is meeting the salt. Best way to eat these barramundi, straight on the coals. We've thrown this on whole, haven't done a thing to it. Pulled it out of the water about an hour ago. Oh, it's hot. There we go. It may look a bit burnt, but they have thick scales. Once we pull those off, the meat will be beautiful. Um, Catch more jacks? Yeah, like bringing stuff like the cast net and then... Nah. I think we need to, between the four of us, we need to get one good fish in the next hour and a half. I think that's achievable. That's the game plan, I reckon. Barramundi. Barra Mundi for four. Woo! Barra lend themselves really well to going on the coals because their scales are so thick and they're quite fatty. I don't know if you can tell, but there's sort of a yellow tinge through the top of the fish here. So they don't dry out so easily. This with a bit of rice and soy sauce. That's nice lunch. At the new camp. Home sweet home, baby. Mango sauce and pepper. Can I have some pepper fish, Yeah, you betcha. You beauty. It's a verdict, oh. mate. This is going to be absolutely beautiful. Oh. Barra money that way just melts. Melts in your mouth with all the fat. Oh. I didn't even have barra with any sauce then, just the barra. So melt in your mouth. Delicious. <laughs> Unbelievably good. I was very hungry. Yeah, it helps when you haven't really yeah. put anything in your mouth and it's 4 p.m. Let's get into it's it. It's good breakfast. <laughs> Tell you what, we've really landed on our feet today, given that we woke up this morning not really knowing where we were gonna camp or, or stop for the day. And we're running low on fresh water, had very little in the way of tucker while well, we wanted to catch fish as we need to every day and to snake our way up this river to find a camp that has fresh water a sandy steep yet sandy anchorage like views around us that are just like the quintessential wild northwest Kimberley coast that snake all around us decent shade this is what it's all about getting back to basics in the Kimberley proper lifelong dream right here Are you ready miss i'm so ready she reckons, do I need, do I need pants? Do I need shoes? No, nah. just a knife. No pants, no worries. No pants, no worries. She reckon, no, nah, I just need my knife, 
a rod and reel and a spare lure. Good to go. Betty, you're catching my fish. Nah, it's Jack. Oh, yes. Oh my God, that's a great Jack. Woohoo. That's a great fish. Nice. Check that out. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when we came in up this river, from around that corner into here, all of this was underwater. And now that the tide has dropped out, it's probably two hours still that it needs to run out. It's exposed these freshwater pools that are coming out of the stream at the back of camp, where you've literally got like swimming pools, freshwater, crystal clean swimming pools right next to camp. And then you'll see over over here. I want to show you. I got my lure snag before on the the last cast. I was like, oh no, I'll just I'll wait till the tide drops. The chain's very rusty, it's been here for a long time. It's a nice little win, sand anchor. As the tide's dropping more, it's exposing more, um, more pools where it's mostly fresh meeting salt. And right there where Jack's got his lure snagged is, is where we want to get a cast in. All right, mate, we'll try our best. Yeah, that hole there, that's looking good. Just a moment of appreciation. Have a look at where we are. Perfection. Yeah, next cast. Oh no! Yes. Yeah! <laughs> oh wow, that's a spectacular fish! Oh! Such a spectacular fish, well done. <laughs> well, I don't think there was a lot of skill involved. I think it was just gonna buff anything. <laughs> so we've just got like a little freshwater stream that's coming down these cascading rocks. And Eva's slowly bringing the lure like right in front of it. Mud barra. Right. <laughs> He's off. <laughs> He's off. So because barramundi live in both fresh and salt water, yeah, Nikki put that barra she got just before up in this pool in our aquarium, barra oh, aquarium. Wow. Seems to be thriving. Good. We just thought we'd keep it in here fresh in case we caught something else that we'd want to eat, but we let everything else go. So this is the one. It's kind of just cool to look at, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to see if it takes a, a lure. It looks like it wants to go. Yeah, get away from the rocks. Oh yeah. He was just throwing a hand line out just before we're cooking dinner with a live mullet on. It was a massive mullet. It's gotta be a big fish. Get it away from the rocks. Oh, it's a good barra. Oh, 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 oh. That is a big fish. Oh my God. Oh. Hold it up. Put, it, put your thumb in its mouth and hold oh, it up. Oh my god. Holy oh. shit. Yeah. <gasps> that is a good barrel. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> that was out for how long? Honestly, two minutes. And then I've just thrown another one out. And that's what fishing in the Kimberley is all about. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. Is it heavy? Oh, it is pretty yeah. heavy. 
we'll get the hook out and Let's get back in. Yeah. All right. We got Captain Jack on so crop watch. The rocks. Yeah. All right, here we go. That's a big fish. Yeah, it's a really good fish. I reckon you'd get another barra on this poor mullet. You're doing a great job, man. Hang in there. Still alive. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's just saying, like, help me. Help me. <laughs> Don't take me back to the batter Mundi. <laughs> All right. I think that's going back out, Should eh? Should we just re-throw it? <laughs> So we've just done up the, the barrel wing. We got a few sweet potatoes from the, the tucker box and we've got it on a grill plate that we found 20 meters that way where someone's camped years ago. It's covered in rust and all buckled. Um, and then we're gonna panko the, is that the plan? Panko? Yeah, I reckon panko. Panko the barrel fillets. Yeah. Right, we'll just chop the, the barrel fillets up quite fine directly in the panko and on the fire. We're a week into the trip thus far. There's a lot, lot more to come. And for those of you who are consistently watching the films that we make and getting value out of, out of what we're doing, thank you. Thanks for watching the vids and getting around it. And most importantly, hope to see you out here somewhere in nature, getting back to basics. I'll see you in the next one.